I never imagined you would do this every year. <laughs> every year. Every year. I'm nobody special, but here we are. Here we are. Don't give up. Don't give in. You can do it. Anybody can live this way. Cheap. Cheap. Hi, hey everyone. Welcome back to my next video. Today, we're going to meet with Dee again. Hi, Dee. Hi, Bob. <laughs> and you and I, have. this is now an annual event. I believe this is the seventh time we got together. Seven times. That's really, really Formally. amazing. <laughs> People are going to start talking, Dee. I think they already are. <laughs> I think so, too. <laughs> and um, we have followed your journey, uh, and we're and now you're ready for another step in your journey. Why yep. don't you give us an outline of your, your time as uh, a nomad? I started down in the car, a little Pontiac Grandman, which Bob has a video of, on, on Social Security, from, I left a bad marriage. Then I moved into a cargo trailer, towing it, it with the Pontiac. It didn't, the Pontiac didn't work out. So in the, in the, I sold the trailer and I got the box van. And you know, Bob has helped me with that. Um, by posting my account, people helped help me and get this here. So I've been living in the box van for about five and a half years, I think. Um, then uh, one of the subscribers sold me the, this fifth wheel RV for a very minimal cost, very minimal. And it's just not working out for me. I can't afford the upkeep and all the utilities or, you know, I pay nothing for this box bag. Right, right. So I still am gonna keep my RV space, but the RV's going. So right, that's right. kind of my background. I've been on the road for a little over seven, I'm going on eight years, I believe. And you have had some significant health problems along the way. A lot. Still do, but not. my health problems are not very visible, you know. So I have had, a, all in one year was really bad. I had a broken back, a broken wrist, a stroke, um, and four major eye surgeries all in one year. Lived all living off grid with no friends at the time. I didn't know anybody. So it was a very rough year. And I'm getting older. I'm 71 years old. So life is not quite as easy as it used to be. Absolutely. But I manage and I never give up, never quit. So I know there are a lot of people out there that are, are concerned about if they have major health problems, but you're just really an example that you can get through it. Well, the, the thing is, I don't have all the baggage that a lot of people have. Right. Living out and outdoors mostly, you get plenty of sunshine, plenty of fresh air, have plenty to do, you know, so I keep healthy that way. So we've done a, a video both with, of the box van, you right. living in the box van, and a video of the fifth wheel. But I thought what we would do is just take a real quick tour through the fifth wheel and you're selling it now. Today is February 24th, 2024. And so we'll try to get this out as soon as we can. And if it's not sold, can people contact you? Yes, I just put it on RV Trader this week. So it haven't sold yet. I have a few bites, but you do, do want to act fast. I'm selling for 11,000. I will negotiate a little bit. It's a 2006 Rockwood Ultralight. It's made by Porsche Ripper, if you want to check out it, the maker. And it's 30 foot, is in great shape, has a brand new air conditioner. The heater has been re read from all the way to the bottom. The black tank has been serviced. A lot of electrical has been taken care of. Everything works wonderful. It's great. If you're in the market for a... Uh... Uh, a 30 foot fifth wheel that's in really good shape and it's a really good price, then contact D yeah. or, or then go to RV Traders. Right. And we'll put the number for that in the description. Yeah, and you can email me at dlugton1 at gmail.com. If you're watching this six months from now or a year from now, yeah. don't call. Don't, don't, don't write. I mean, don't yeah. write. Because yeah. uh, I won't respond if I, once, it's, right. once it's sold, I won't respond. You've been living in an RV park here for uh, almost two, two years two years yes and in quartzite yes and how has that been for you i love the park then i i thought <clears throat> i was going blind i'm not okay 
So I moved into the RV park with the box of them so I would have a home base. And it's been great, love it here. They have very friendly people, have the bathroom, the showers, the laundry room, uh, access to the clubhouse. Uh, we have water and electricity and dumpsters. So for Everything. less than about, I'm paying 1500 a year. A year. A year plus utilities. Yes, there is parks in this area that for that price, but this place is always full up. For people with health problems, having a home base is awesome. Yeah. If you can afford it. First, let's go take a quick look at the fifth wheel. And even if you're not in the market for a fifth wheel, that'll give you an idea of what a 30 foot fifth wheel, yeah. the comfort it would give you. And yeah. then we'll go into her box van and take a look at that. So this is a front or back end of the fifth wheel. And it's a kind of set in comes with the chair, awesome. cabinets all the way across. This is a four foot by 20 foot slide out. Beautiful decor over it. The curtains are homemade. Queen size hide a bed, needs a new mattress. This is a beautiful dinette. Over here, we have a wonderful entertainment center. Center, You're gonna put a large TV in here. Has serious if you want serious <laughs> if you want to connect to it. Stereo system throughout the entire RV. Cabinets everywhere. So this kitchen is a corner uh, set system. Has double sink. This is a hook on table with drawers underneath it. Have bar stews at, at that end. Have a microwave, fan, three burner stove with oven. Full-size fridge print freezer is awesome. Lots of room. And this is our food pantry over here. And all the way around is cabinets. Beautiful. All uh, it's all cabinets. beautiful wood. Yeah, very nice wood. It's real wood. This is a bedroom. You have to step up. This is a queen-size bed. Has huge storage underneath it. Has a closet here with cabinets and a little nightstand with drawers. And this is the second closet here. This is the bathroom here. So it has a medicine cabinet and a, what is it, Tedford toilet. Mm -hmm. And has a max air fan above. This is a full bath. Oh, oh. A small bathtub, but a full shower, very tall, does have a sunlight. I have it covered because I don't want too much light in there. And right next to it is a bathroom sink with a large cabinet underneath. And okay. uh, give us the details again. It's a 2006 Rockwood Ultralight. It's made by Forest River, 30 foot, fifth wheel. I'm selling for 11000 It's on RV Trader. Com. All right, let's go and uh, look at your box van that All you're right. moving back into. Sounds good. I had the coyote, coyote. I had already painted that. Added the Segura. I need, still need to finish all this. Things have changed. I have a new fridge. Fridge, fridge, freezer. Look at this. Nice. And look at this, the freezer. You don't see this in an RV. You don't. I just got it. It's 110. I have a microwave. I went back and forth with the microwave. Wait, this is my food storage here. I can't stand clutter. I can't stand having to move things to get to something. That's needed. Van lifers and Narbiers need to be organized. That's the only way you can survive. It's not a three bedroom house, okay? So this area is about six foot by nine foot with a one foot box on the back for the garage. The bed, I use a step stool to get into it. I built these drawers, I built these drawers. That's my pots and pan storage. I do have a two burner stove with an oven. And I recently decided to go with a cassette toilet because most of the time I can get to the RV park to dump it. I have a ton of storage under there. You sure do. I changed the decor. I added some pictures, some little cute things up here. This little scarf, I have more storage up there. That's where I keep all the big stuff. Still have the Wave 6. Um, one thing I do have is a little tablet. This is an awesome gadget. I'll just share you the link somewhere. 
but I, I put them, I can do it there, watch something in the bed, I can put it over here. Oh, what a good idea. Look at this, I can put it here. If I want to do a cooking video, it's all flexible. And I have another one spot right there where the scissors are. This is a full down table. And if I want more room, I can pull this out and put it on here to give it wider. Because this is my workstation, my mm -hmm. office. I don't know. You do have a YouTube channel. Tell us again your YouTube channel. Is <laughs> Box Van D on YouTube. It's pretty easy. Pot really easy, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Box Van D. I have emails dlugton1 at gmail. And I do have an Instagram I hardly ever post. Uh, same name, Box Van D. I have a lot of fans. I have several ways to heat this. I have the Wave 6. I have a Mr. Buddy. I have little electric 400 watt heaters if I'm plugged in. And I also have the stove. So plenty of ways to heat it and plenty of ways to cool it. I have tons of fans and stuff. Mm -hmm. USB fans, electric 110 fans. In fact, I need to turn that one on. So all these hooks, this is my closet, Bob. Uh -huh. Sure. <laughs> That's my closet. What can I say? And you'll have a whole bunch of solar. I have almost a thousand watts of solar. Oh I have, my. I have four big uh, marine deep cycle AGM batteries under the, I took out the passenger seat. That's where they are under there. I couldn't get a quick look in there. That's where my batteries on the bottom have drawers here. So I have a folding chair, but it's, I rarely ever fold it unless I need room for something. Mm -hmm. So that's it. That's pretty much it. There's really, really nice. Very, very not comfortable. Not much to show, but I, I try to make it look nice. And you have to stay clean and organized in a small vehicle. But I love it. I have access to everything. I don't have to move things around. I don't know if, I, if you saw this. Probably have. My license plate. A box bandy. <laughs> and you have a garage in the back. I do. This is a new painting. A friend, Amber, came and painted the creosote and the squirrel, sagoral bush. I did the coyote and the gravel. I'm finishing it up, but I'm working on it. I think this looks really nice. That's my garage. Water That's tank. a 20 gallon water tank and two propane tanks for cooking and heating. So that's it. Well, you did a great job here. I mean, that is really, really good organization and storage. I need to re revamp it a little bit, but not bad. No, it's, I think it's great. Okay, that's pretty much everything, Bob. I think so. And we've seen it before, but yeah. man, it just seems like it's better every time. So anything else we haven't covered that you want to? I think that's pretty much everything. Okay. All I can say is people, don't give up, don't give in. You can do it. Anybody can live this way, cheap. Cheap. Yeah, you've had to endure a lot in the last seven yeah. years. So uh, you have my total admiration. <laughs> Thank total you, 100% admiration. Well, same goes to you. <laughs> Thank you. So, folks, there you have it. Uh, another inspiring uh, visit with Dee that if she can do it, anyone can do it. And uh, if you're looking for a fifth wheel, contact her. Again, it's uh, uh, February 24th. 2024, don't contact her later because she's going to sell it pretty quick. Yeah. So, Dee, thank you so much once again visiting with us. Thank I really you appreciate it. Thank you for coming again, Bob. I never imagined you would do this every year. <laughs> every year. Every year. I'm nobody special, but here we are. Here we are. <laughs> I'm sure many more years to come. Uh, I hope so. hope so. So, folks, if you got anything out of this video, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel. Hit that thumbs up button and we'll talk to you later. Bye now. <laughs>